Okay, so let's dive deep into our finance sheet, uh, one of the most important sheets, but there's uh, too much tech and geek stuff that's happening in the background, but don't worry, any, uh, don't worry about it at all. And you should be able to, um, you know, get all this sorted. So long as you follow the step, uh, you've been able to identify uh, when you're gonna start the loan, you've been able to um, figure out how you're gonna do your construction cost calculation and how you're gonna come up with a market value um, uh, and, and you know, allocated these costs. So it is very, very simple to use and it is super effective and it is um, uh, it has all the tech in the background um, that you will find in any software um, uh, elsewhere. So, so let's go back into our finance section. So let's expand the the land finance section so why is this red over here so this is what the, this is the first thing you want to find out so if i zoom out and i show you what's happening so you, so to to be able to give you a good idea of what's happening is that we have our you know uh, land and site value which is no gst and again if you have selected something else over here it will get automatically updated on that section and that is why you know as soon as we come here we press the save and refresh um, it has picked up all your dates you don't have to worry about any of these dates entering them again because you have already specified when this loan starts and how and what is the duration of that loan so it automatically does that for you but it shows you here where your opening balance on 1st of July, um, when you settle, is going to be X amount. You, when you draw the loan, what is it going to be? Um, uh, and if there is a, a loan setup fee, which is, you know, let's say it's 2% or something, or you have a monthly line fee, and then you have a mortgage registration fee, uh, all of these things, some of them, uh, like for example, mortgage registration fee is like a one-time fee, doesn't happen every month. Uh, you are with the loan. That's why we have a fee called uh, line or service fee or, or monthly fee. So uh, all loans have them. Uh, so you can call them whatever you want to call them and change their names. So uh, this is this is where all these details uh, will happen. So if I scroll back here, you'll see that you know the monthly fees are all uh, everything that is monthly is your line fee. This is apart from interest. So when you have your interest section, you will have your uh, interest payments um, over here as well. It has an option for you to select your interest only. Is it an interest only or in principle an interest loan as well? So you can select and change these things over here. Um, very easy to, to do and set up. Um, so um, let's look at each one of these. So we've got land loan application fee, which is a one-time fee. OTF stands for one-time fee. It's $600 you apply with the bank and there is an application fee uh, for them to even look at your application or look at your loan application. Then you've got a loan setup fee, which is usually a percentage of the approved loan amount. Um, the approved loan amount comes from you getting the, um, you know, whatever, uh, LVR, which is your loan to value ratio. So if it is 70%, 80% or so on. So if I change this to 80, um, I'll have to press the save and refresh button because I've made a change there and those changes have to be reflected um, uh, in, in the whole sheet. So those are the things that you need to make sure. So if this was interest only or principal plus interest, and um, over here we have our interest cost, which is again a customizable cost code 7102 land interest cost. So if you go into your master data, you'll see that we have a land interest cost um, component or a cost code uh, dedicated to that um, to be able to capture and report a land interest uh, cost separately because a land interest cost and your construction interest costs are two separate things. So we have I basically have four um, uh, four components for almost every loan. Now you can have um, uh, you can change their names if you wanted to, but you have to remember that one of them is an interest cost, one of them is a percentage to the loan, um, and the other one is a monthly fee, and uh, the last one or the first one or whatever you want to call it um, is a one-time fee. So, so there are three uh, four kinds of fees, including the interest. That are here now 
um, I haven't addressed this, but you don't really need to have this uh, um, uh, LD master data, which is your lead developer master data open at all, because uh, it is not required. The only reason I have it open is so that I can refer back and explain how things are connected and how they are working and so on. So if you look at this, you've got all these details. Uh, I've changed that to principal and interest just to show you the effect of what is going to happen. So now I'm going to click on save and refresh. And um, this will uh, this will basically do the calculations once again. And right now over here you see interest setup cost and then loan paid out so at the moment there's the loan hasn't been paid out and that is the important part that we have to remember um, in this sheet um, because we need to pay out the loan at the end of the term now I, I had designed this sheet to to become fully iterative like in the sense that we could automatically pay this out and then uh, and then not have to worry about this one extra step but it kept breaking the sheet down. So I had to make this step manual because I already had a loop transaction, uh, a loop calculation happening in the background, which was again a, um, uh, a humongous task to get this to, um, uh, to work correctly. So, so I'm here and uh, now this section says that I've got principal and interest because I have already paid out some principal payments so if you see this it has calculated certain principal payments that i'll be paying up so and it is calculating my accrued interest and principal plus interest and set up cost if i wanted to see what they are going to be so the first month is heavy because i have all these other costs involved and the loan hasn't been paid out as yet the difference that I want to show you is that this is a principal and interest loan and that is why my loan balance towards the end is excluding the principal payments that I have already made. And if I was to change this back to an interest only loan, which is 99.9% .9 of the time, that is, what the, uh, um, um, that is what the case is going to be with most of the developments. But it could be a different scenario for you where you already own the land, you live in the land and you have a mortgage on it, which is a principal and interest payment. So if you want to allocate certain percentage of that <clears throat> to your development, by all means, you can do that. So um, if I go save and refresh, let's go one more time. Um, and you'll see that my land acquisition loan, this is the amount, this is a prompt uh, for loan balance for you to be able to put um, to be able to just type in that number over here that is all uh, the purpose that is the purpose of this which is telling you this is the amount owing at the end of the term so for you to move forward you need to make sure that you pay it out this uh, this loan amount so now it is back to 960 which is the total debt that you have borrowed for this based on your loan to value ratio and that is the money that you have borrowed so now, before I move forward, and that is why this error sign is there to remind you that there is a mismatch in the total that we've got. So let's say I can put in 960, this is what I need to pay out. I'll press that, uh, I'll select 960. So if it does have any, uh, this is the only place you'll see that I have uh, not uh, rounded these numbers out because I try, I try and round these numbers out because it's the overall, uh, it's the overall uh, figure. We are not worried about a few cents uh, in there. Not that those cents aren't there in the calculation. It's just that, you know, I pressed this button. I, I formatted them to, to not show the, the, the full amount or, and so on. So if you clicked on any one of these, you'll see that, you know, in fact, the calculation is actually going to many decimal places, but we choose not to show them so that these cells um, don't look crowded and everything doesn't look very heavy uh, so <clears throat> to you it actually looks very overwhelming but it's not all I'm saying is you have to focus just on the um, on the blue section over here so um, it gives you all these details so um, over here that you can look at you can absorb them you can understand what they are um, and they are they are very uh, self-explanatory uh, in the sense that uh, you know what an accrued interest is, you know what, you know, whether or not your loans paid out. So now when we pay this out, so what we are doing here is paying out the loan balance. And that is why this, 
this warning in red color is there so that you do not forget to pay this out. So I'm, so I'm just gonna select that number because all I need to do is figure out what this number is. And if it is 960 000.23, um, make sure you, you type 960 000.23 because you wanna make sure that your entire loan is paid out. So if you go here, it'll show you all the calculations that have happened here and how this loan was paid out towards the end. So, uh, so that's pretty much it. And you'll see that there's no more error here. All these totals are gonna start matching uh, because now these, uh, these okay signs here are a different kind of uh, check mechanism where we're not just checking what's happening in our cash flow side of things, we are also checking um, as the costs are getting added on to the main development costs. So we are checking our totals in, in, in three different ways and I can't explain how, uh, how what each one of them is, uh, but we round all these numbers together um, uh, from different places to make sure that um, from the accounting perspective, they are all accounted for and checked against each other. Uh, because if I'm getting a total here, X, Y, Z, it should match the other total that I'm getting somewhere else uh, via a different method. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So these are all um, uh, all checked, so don't worry about it. There's um, uh, technically, uh, I have not left a single stone unturned where um, I haven't studied something correctly in order to put this thing together. So that's our land finance section and next section we'll talk about our land loan refinance.